I've tested a ton of free software over the years. In this video, I'll show you four fantastic programs for your computer, all of which are free, that might be useful for you in your life. And we're getting started right now. This software probably gets recommended the most of any software in the comments on this channel. Blender is an open source graphics software for creating 3D printed models, animated films, visual effects, and so much more. After using Blender for only a couple weeks, I have to admit this software is so awesome, it's hard to believe it is free. It's not the easiest software to use, and you may look at the user interface the first time and be overwhelmed, like I was. Thankfully, they've created some really useful tutorials to get you started. Before downloading Blender, I would suggest going on their site and taking a look at some of the projects that have been created with Blender. Some of them are simply incredible. Blender is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Most of you on Windows are familiar with the great code editor Notepad++, which is only available on Windows. Brackets is very similar and is available for cross-platform download on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Brackets is an open source editor that is optimized for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. For PHP, Ruby, and Python developers, you may want to take a look at Visual Studio Code. I'll put a link to that program in the description as well. When you open Brackets for the first time after installing, you're greeted with an HTML-based tutorial file along with a CSS file, which is a great way to get familiar with Brackets. In the left column, it lists files you're currently working on along with a folder view. In the right column, you have an extension manager and a live preview icon. When you select live preview, it opens a Chrome window showing you the current page you are working on with brackets, which is nice. If you're into web development, you may want to give brackets a try. If you're looking for a free and open source alternative to Microsoft Office, a lot of people consider LibreOffice to be the best. It can open and convert almost any legacy document from Microsoft Office. In recent testing, I discovered there was no data loss when opening documents with Microsoft Office extensions in LibreOffice. Their user interface is also greatly improved over previous versions. Here's what the LibreOffice alternatives look like. Instead of Microsoft Word, you have LibreOffice Writer. The alternative to Excel is called Calc and the alternative to PowerPoint is Impress. If you're still using OpenOffice, this might be a good time to switch to LibreOffice, as most of the developers that used to work on Open are now working on Libre. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is one of my personal favorites, and it's really useful when streaming media from your computer to a device like a Roku, smart TV, gaming console, smartphone, or any other device that has the Plex app available which is nearly any streaming device that has ever been made. Setup is easy. There are tutorials all over the internet. Once installed, when you've added your media into the corresponding folders on your computer, they show up in this nice looking, easy to use interface. I have different categories, which include movies, TV shows, and music. Once we've watched the TV show or movie, I usually remove the program from the corresponding folder. Most people don't do it this way. They usually leave the programs on their computer. You can even edit the data. You can change the general information, tags. You can even change the poster if you want to. They do offer a premium version called PlexPass if you require additional features like recording TV for free over the air. For me, all I've ever needed is the free version. Plex is available on Windows, Linux, Mac, and on several NAS devices, including QNAP. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What free software do you use that you'd recommend to others? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff.